Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this presentation. Really exciting and also very different to what we've been hearing all day. So this presentation is by Liu Lim, founder and CEO of uh, VLight. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And this is a little bit different because this is about photobiomodulation for brain stimulation. And a lot of the other talks we've heard so far have been about measuring and sensing, but this one is actually about modulation. Um, and so, as usual, uh, write in your questions in the chat function on the uh, right hand side. Uh, we'll get all the questions answered. Um, Liu, uh, the stage will be yours now. Uh, two minutes before the end, I'll pop my head back in just to give you the heads up so you know time is almost up. And then at the end, I will ask uh, the, the questions. So, yeah, the stage is yours. Okay, well, well thank you for inviting me. Uh, yeah, you're right. This is going to be different, and I'll show you why, and i show you why it is going to be a very important uh, wearable technology. So here are some of the things that many of you are familiar with in wearable devices. Um, and I would say that mainly diagnostic, so intervention is quite rare, but you do have um, intervention devices like this, you know, there is electrical stimulation, there's magnetic, there's the sound, there's flickering lights that come in various things. But there was a, in this particular reference that I've made here, uh, there's a comment that say that actually they don't see a lot of uh, differences between this and a control. So what do we make out of it? I've got another uh, conference coming up where I'm I'll, I'll going extensively into uh, understanding the mechanisms of some of these major ones like the magnetic electrical stimulation and even focused ultrasound. But but let's uh, move on to what we do here. This is what <clears throat> uh, one of the devices look like. It obviously is on a head, so <clears throat> it refers to brain uh, stimulation. And uh, what makes us different? Uh, if, if, if the picture is on, I can just, you know, I, I don't see myself on the camera, but uh, very quickly, okay, a bit messy here. Yeah, the picture is on and we can see you, so. You see me? Okay, so I'm, so it is just sliding on like this with a very important intranasal piece going on this way. So the idea is having uh, light particularly red and near infrared, in our case, near infrared light directed to uh, selected parts of the brain. Now, although in the world of wearable, you're talking about really uh, non-clinical things, but a lot of research has already been done. So we are coming from a, a place of deep research where We've done uh, animal studies, cell study, clinical studies, and these are some of the important indications over here. And I've talked about here, dimension and Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is very important to us because we're doing a major clinical trials on trying to resolve actually advanced Alzheimer's disease. There are people using this device for Parkinson's. We have a clinical trial going on in Boston University and in University of Utah for traumatic brain injury. Uh, there are studies on pain and headaches, depression and anxiety done at Harvard. Now, uh, you guys might be more interested in non-clinical things. And, he, and we will, I will touch on uh, the areas of meditation, mindfulness, the effects on cognition, sports performance, stress reduction. And this leads to improvement in, in body functions. Uh, I want to show this because we're really serious about a Alzheimer trial. This was cleared by the FDA to go ahead. And um, just to be, just very briefly in our, before we go into a big trial like that, we do, you know, like case reports, a few studies, and the, the changes are very significant. That's why we, we are investing literally millions of dollars into doing a big um, clinical trial like this, which is ongoing right now, delayed because of the pandemic. And then on to non-clinical things, we've been tested in uh, various parts of the Department of Defense uh, to see how it affects cognition. And this is a um, preliminary results that was done in the University 